Griffin, is life as short? You know, people say life's short. You better do this. I know there's no time, so this is going to be a difficult question, probably. Is it really, really short when we come? Even if you were to live till you're 100, is it short in the matter from where you guys? Do you feel like you've been away forever or short? I feel like I've been away forever. Okay. So when we're looking at the existence of one life, uh -huh. uh, we're saying it's linear, right. I'd say short. Okay. Um, do you ever have day days where you grieve us? Yes. What do you do on those days? How do you get yourself out of that? He says it's hard to stay in it. So the moment I have a brain fart, I'm out of it. Right. It's like very opposite on the earth. He so said, weird. the moment you have a brain fart, sometimes you, you, he's doing this falling airplane. You just dive deeper and that you feel more the, distant and more separate. Right. Because that's someone's question is, do they miss us as bad as we miss them? And do they know when we're missing them? Yes. We definitely know when you're missing us. Because okay. you're thinking of us and you're saying our name, uh -huh. that energy comes directly to us. Wow. And we read it, we feel it. It just. Do you ever make jokes to other spirits like, my damn mom won't leave me alone today? <laughs> like today's yes. like easy for you, girl. <laughs> well, today is my birthday here. I know. My birth out on earth. So there is a lot of energy wrapped around it. It's got a, if you could say it, a time stamp on it. Right. So if it's your birthday there, how would you, what, how would today look for you to us? The specialness of today, I guess. Yeah. I love that question so much. Mm -hmm. The day to me, he says it, it's not like it's marked on a calendar and we have huge celebration. Right. Because where I am, it is not October 30th. Okay. I don't have a day to put on it, but because I have people on earth who are living that day for me and marking the time. I can feel it. Right. So I know it exists because the people on the earth are doing it. We're remembering you. He goes, oh, what does that mean for when everybody's gone, right? Right. He said that's so Day of the Dead. Do you like Day of the Dead in the movie Coco and all those? Oh, are they God. good examples for us of what it's like? Yeah. It, there are some very pertinent things, but it's, it's true. Goes, yeah. When, when you are not thought about on earth, mm -hmm. you don't cease to exist. Okay. That's you don't not vanish. True. That's okay. not true. Okay. <laughs> but your marker of time for that life. Right. Is loose. You know, it's like, I don't know. I could tell you, but. It's not that important. Does everybody hear when we're thinking about you, like my mom? Like w when I talk about you guys, like if we talk about you like you're still alive as part of a conversation at dinner or whenever, do you guys hear it and look at each other or do you feel it, always feel it? Mm -hmm. Wow. Anytime you say my name. What? Does it bring a smile to your face? Like, wow. Yes. Yes. Wow. yes. Anytime, and he says, you don't even have to say my name out loud. You can say it in your head. Right. You can just have that kind of feeling where you're like, ooh, ooh. Right. <laughs> that right. was apparently a mom going, oh, I just love you so much. Um, right. You exactly. instantly feel it. Exactly. That is so cool. Okay. Uh, a girl has a question, and I thought this was a cool question. With all of the rock legends we have lost recently, how are the concerts in the afterlife? Is it like the best Coachella lineup ever? <laughs> ever. <laughs> he says, you know, we could say that about all the late and great when we're looking back and we say all the athletes, you know, that have 
left, you know, what's the game like over here? Uh -huh. Now that we've documented their success on earth and their remarkable talent, we now are aware of them. And if we're here and we have dozens and hundreds of people that we have identified their remarkable talent from that lifetime, of course you'd want to collect them all together and have some fun. And he says, hell yes, we have music and concerts and gatherings and lectures yeah. and plays and art. And you just think about all the artists that we have here. Think about the sculptors. Think about the ones you don't even know yet. Right. They're all here. How cool. And is it ever sold out and you can't get in or you no. can get into every, okay. Yes. That's so, funny because it's not really like that. Okay. And are there spirits that Wait. Oh, go ahead, Wait, go ahead. I have to let people know. Some people will really like this. Okay. But there's not a bad seat in the house. In the arena. Yeah, in the house. Wow. Even if you think you've got row 2,600, whatever, seat E. <laughs> right. You're you're face to face with them. Right. Because space is not 3D. Right. Absolutely. Griffin, you know how we'll see someone and we'll say, I think I know that person. That person's famous. Is it that way up there? Do you know who everybody is or do you have to ask or does it just come to you? No, mom, you don't even have to ask. It wow. just, um, you just uh, know it. If they're in your vicinity, you've got the information because there's no, um, you know, don't look at me. I, right. I'm not going to tell you anything. I'm in secret. I'm coded. There's none of that bullshit here it's um your existence is exactly what your existence is right no secrets you don't need secrets right would anyone ever come to you griffin and go wow your brother's really having a hard time today let's go around him and give him some good energy what the what fuck would who would know more about my brother than i would right <laughs> because okay. i would or know me. more <laughs> i was just using him as an example but or me does anyone ever say that to you like or do you say that to someone else, like Chris Kenyatta's uh, son, Gregoire, do you ever say, we better go around your mom, she's having a hard time today? It doesn't work like that? No, you know it. Okay. Those, that's your tribe. Right, right. But have other spirits ever come to you and said, you need more energy, dude? I'll come with yes. you. Yes, yes, so yes, cool. yes. But they're like, cool. rally around. And have I ever spoken up and been like, come on in? Yeah. I need it. I yes. Need it. Okay. And then someone said, um, uh, do we get to ask God all of the questions when we want, or do we just know the answers when we get there? You know the answers, but not right when you get here. It takes a... <laughs> it takes a hot minute. Right. I wish I could say it the way he just did. It was like he was imitating you saying right. it. Right. Um. It takes a moment for you to learn the kind of focus it requires to disconnect from playing human and even disconnect to why you need the information. Right. When we're on earth, most of the information we're looking for is attached to an agenda, mm -hmm. whether it's to be a better person, to get a better job, to show off for someone, to get a mate, to, you know, a lot of what we're trying to collect is to use it to gain something. When you're here, you don't need to gain anything. So your need for knowledge is really fucking different. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> he has bigger hand gestures. I did this and he goes, you look like some like tiny magician. I could go on all day because I think this is fascinating, <laughs> but I've got two small questions and I'm gonna let Dylan talk. So get ready, Dylan. Okay. Do you ever get there in your life review and feel like, how do I resolve that? God, I was an asshole to Susie Q and it wasn't part of the plan. How do you resolve that? Is just that the part of evolving and growing in the afterlife? Poor Susie Q. Right, exactly. It is. Yes, you get here. And he said it is quite overwhelming to experience. People. Yeah. Okay. really where you came from and you thought you were coming from a different place right but you didn't have the awareness or slow down enough to even see if it was being perceived like that right and 
not 100% of the time does it need to be corrected. Okay. A lot of times it is part of the journey in the other person okay. and you're co-creating and That's you're scenario. sharing this argument, this whatever it was, you know. Right. But there are some times where you were just off base, man. Right. And you were just shredding it because you wanted to shred it because you just didn't want to. Just uh, right. Those are the I, times. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. when I've treated people like shit, it's hard to forgive yourself in life. I just wondered how you forgive yourself once you're gone and you don't have a chance to make things right, you know. He says that's when you take your time here. Right. And you make it as right as possible. If the person's not willing to let go of it, then you can't contribute because it's not, you know, right. co-creating. We can't force somebody into accepting, you know, right. our apologies and our forgiveness. So you end up um, sometimes waiting until they're here. Okay. And I reconciling. You. I got you. 